What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking origami concrete structure. Now it's a, as I said, it's a very cool structure but I liked the way that it's very simplistic yet it's so elegant and effective and it's actually very structurally sound, I guess you would call it. Uh, but anyway, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this project file that I'm going to be creating, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. If you go there, you can get access to all of my Revit project files so far, over 150 files so far. But anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project, and uh, let's just go here to massing in sight as this will be modeled as an in-place mass and then we'll, we'll be just adding some more elements uh, later on. So first uh, let's turn on show mass to be able to see our mass and then just go to in-place mass. And I'm just going to be calling it mass1 because I guess the name doesn't really matter that much. So now we need to add just some reference planes to help us uh, determine the dimensions of the complete project or the complete building. So just go here to reference plane or use the shortcut RP and I'm going to set one in the middle. The next one will be 5 meters away from that and the next one will be 1.5 meters away from that. So this will just help us determine the, the dimensions of the uh, of the building and this is just the thickness of the wall or not really the thickness but you'll get the point why I need two of these and I'm just going to be mirroring this around so just type in mm for mirror with the option of pick axis and then I'm just going to select the center uh, reference plane and mirror it to the other side then again go reference plane place one like this over here place one at 1.5 meters and one more here at 1.5 meters. Okay, so once we have this, we have pretty much everything as far as the reference planes are concerned. Now we just need to name them and uh, we don't need to name the horizontal ones, only the vertical ones. So let's just go here and name this one number one. Uh, the second one will be number two and the third one will be, yeah, you guessed it, number three. Okay, so once we have this, we need to go to this elevation over here, and this is east elevation, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. And now we need to start modeling. So I'm just going to be using model lines for this, and here immediately we get this uh, dialog where Revit is asking us uh, which work plane do we want to use. And I'm just going to choose here to choose the work plane by name. Then I'm going to open up the drop menu and choose reference plane number one. Hit OK and now let's start modeling. So make sure that it says here draw on work plane and I'm just going to select the line tool and uncheck the 3D snapping, just make sure that that isn't checked and then you can check chain option. And you just go like this, you make this little uh, kind of a, I don't know, <laughs> just this shape. So you go from here to here to this point, then to this point, you go back down. And then for the second one that will be on a uh, reference plane number two, you go over here just one meter above everything and you just go from the outside one to the outside one and then for the reference plane number three, you just repeat the same uh, shape as you did for the reference plane number one. And now if I go into 3D, this is what you get. So you get two of these frames and one of these up there. And uh, now let's just connect everything. So for that, you need to go here to model line again. And here we're going to be, uh, this doesn't really matter because I'm just going to check 3D snapping. So I'm going to start from this bottom line to this upper end point to this lower end point. And then do the same thing over here. So go from this uh, intersection to this intersection, back down to this intersection. And then you repeat the whole process on the other side. So bottom end point, top end point, bottom end point, bottom intersection, top intersection, bottom intersection. Okay, so once we have the general shape, uh, now we need to turn this into some geometry or th this is, uh, there are no faces here, this is just lines. So you select one of these lines. Now, as you can see now, the whole thing lights up and you just want to select one of these lines. So you hover over the whole thing, you hit the tab key once and then you can select just the line and then you hold the control to select the second one and then third one and you go here, create form and you choose this. 
and if you can't see the form uh, maybe switch to realistic as you can see now it's maybe a bit more uh, visible okay so you just uh, repeat the same thing here so you just hold the control and again here hit tab once hold the control select it create form and do the same thing okay and and now do the same thing for these upper ones so hit tab once select it select this thing select this thing and this one create form again just the plane and the same thing here okay not the whole thing hit tab once select this 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 line and this line create form again just the flat line and just repeat the same thing over here so let's just go with yeah okay is it just this okay it is so just go create form finish that and here the last form create form finish that okay so once we have this now it's uh, the hard part is over so you just go into something like the site plan you select the whole thing you go to filter you check none you make sure you check just the form hit apply okay and now you're just uh, using uh, changing the form so you just type in co for copy make sure you check multiple and you can just go here from endpoint to endpoint and then you just repeat the whole thing just make sure that it snaps to the right point and you can add as many of these as you want I'm just going to stop right now because this is quite enough okay so we've got our whole structure or at least the massing for our whole structure and and now it's time to finish this mass so just go finish mass and now it's back in Revit now we need to add some uh, some actual material to this now for this you can go here to massing and site and you can choose either a roof or a wall now I'm going to show you the difference uh, what happens and uh, what should you choose so let's start off with a wall so go to wall and let's go with a generic 200 and uh, so massing and sight wall and then as you can see when you pick a, a plane a wall will appear there so you just pick these planes and let's just do the whole segment so pick this one and pick this one okay and now once you've done that uh, if you zoom in over here as you can see now uh, we've got these kind of uh, weird intersections and sometimes it looks good sometimes it looks bad but it usually has these things poking out and as you can see here on the side it's kind of facing inward and uh, that's a problem and if you want to change the orientation of this wall you can select each wall and just change this from finish face exterior to finish face interior and then as you can see it flips to the other side now in this case we don't want to do that but I'm just showing you uh, how to change that if that's necessary for your project so let's just change this to finish face exterior now on the other side let's try the roof over here so let's go with this generic uh, 125 and then uh, the good thing about roofs you can select like more, more surfaces uh, at once and then just change them so let's select all of these create roof and as you can see what I like about uh, roofs it kind of cuts it off at a vertical point and uh, maybe the best thing to, to, to demonstrate that is to do a section through this thing so let's just create a section like this uh, open it up and why isn't it showing this thing let's see yeah it should be showing but anyway as you can see for the for the walls it's kind of slanted over on the edges and for some reason we can't see the the roof one but you get the point over here it's okay this is the the wall one okay this is the roof one it goes vertically down so it looks nicer even here on the edge as you can see now it's completely vertical and here it's kind of messy and it has this ugly uh, ugly point that looks like some weird knot so that's not something we want to have okay but anyway that's uh, that's why I think you should choose the uh, the roof option for this and then just to add the glass you can just go to level one and you just go to architecture wall uh, choose a curtain or a curtain wall or a storefront one and then you just go from like this from side to side let's flip it to the other side and you go into 3d where is it okay here it is and you can select it and go here into edit profile and then you can just pick lines and pick uh, the exterior lines like this 
maybe make it a bit smaller okay and uh, just delete the upper portions and hit finish okay it, it's here we need to trim and extend so just tr trim and extend trim and extend over here finish delete elements and as you can see now we've got this curtain panel that's perfectly fitting into our uh, our construction but anyway that's how you create these sorts of uh, origami uh, concrete structures in Revit using in-place massing and if you want to download this whole project uh, make sure to check out my patreon first link in the description okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you uh, have any questions comments or suggestions make sure you leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day